turn it up. Try to church it up, son. Don't you mean Jerry Dirt? Your dad really must have hated you naming you that, son. You're wrong, brother. Hey, I got a name for this. Rusty. Well, that shit'll buff out. Why don't you drive this piece of crap off a cliff and do us all a favor? Does this look like a piece of crap to you? People like that security guard. That don't really mean what they had to say. They got their own issues and whatnot. As long as I keep being a good person, don't have them know in my heart. Right on. <laughs> Things are gonna happen for me. Cause I'm Jerry Dirt. Right on. Man, I gotta go to the restroom and see Pete's here. Just don't forget to wipe your dirt. <laughs> <laughs> you boys got something to say to me? Speak to the microphone. Got a backup phone, microphone right here. Testing, testing. One, two. What's up? Hey, keep it down in there. Tiger's on the air. Whoa. What's up with your hair, dude? Hey, you gotta get that shit down. Man, what the fuck? Man, I gotta get that shit down. Tiger's on the air. Come on. It's the Tiger Radio Show. Tiger, Tiger, you gotta check this out. God almighty, man, I remember it having a 1976 call, and they went the hairstyle back. <laughs> it's a wig. That's a wig? What are you wearing a wig for? Are you a stuntman for Billy Ray Cyrus? Freddy, get Freebird Boy here in All Access Laminate. I'm ringing this shammy for all I can. You're exquisitely pathetic. What's your name, boy? Well, it's Jerry Dirt. But if you're just going to be making fun of me, I'm just going to go back to my... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me, let me take another tack here. So, Mr. Dirt. What's with the hair? Well, I was born without the top of my skull when I was a little kid. And um, it, the brain, my brains was sticking out and it was kind of grossing everybody out. So my mom put a wig on here and it, it kind of got all entwined and infused. I don't, I don't want to get all technical on you, but it's something like that. Why didn't your mom change the wig later? Well, actually we got separated at the Grand Canyon whenever I was eight. I got, we, I, we got, I got lost. You trying to tell me you've been on your own since you was eight years old? Yeah, pretty much, man. It's, it's a long story. What's the story? I'm a white trash idiot. The end. Is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back? Make fun of little old Jerry Dirt? Probably. Well, my mom used to always say that whenever I, she caught me jerking my gherkin. Can I say that? Well, anyways. There I was at the Grand Canyon alone, all by myself. Hey, no, this is good stuff, not the bad stuff. Come on, now, where are you? Come on. You can come out now. Cops put me in a juvie home, but I split that scene. Whoa, 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 Bob Seger, give me a break. Back in that time, he was probably listening to Leaf Garrett. No, no, man, I'm a rocker through and through. Here are my favorite bands, ACDC, Def Leppard, Van Halen, not Van Hagar. Come on, man, stop, let's get on with the story. Okay, one night a meteor fell from the sky and it wanted to be with me. Here we here in this here meteorite we call this town. This is where everybody hates you. Oh, that's awesome. Holy crap, lady. You talking to your rock? It ain't no rock, it's a meteor. You wanna fight you little queer? You calling these queer? What's up? You ain't worth it, retard. Well, you are. I mean you aren't. I mean you are to work. Meteor, we call this burger heaven. We need to find a place of our own. 
we need some stability in our life. Well, it ain't no meteor. Yeah, it is. It came out of the sky. Well, I bet it did, but it ain't no meteor. It's just a big old chunk of shit. What? See them airplanes? They dump at about 36,000 feet and falls to the earth. Oh, that they can't be. bowling bombs. No, that can't be. Yeah. See? Right here. The peanut. Dead giveaway. What? No, that's a space peanut. No, it's a big old chunk of poopy. <laughs> oh, that's a little too much, man. Yeah. Oh, dude, you was eating on that. <laughs> what happens next? Then I got a dog. Well, you know, whenever you, you get your, your, your tongue stuck on a freezer, whenever it's like really cold out. He got his nuts stuck to the porch. Do you, ha do you, happen, do you have anything? What? Oh, no. Ow. You got something else? Uh, maybe uh, warm water? Oh, and, uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. Ow. Oh, uh, a spatula thing. Okay, now this, we're gonna have to go easy here. This ain't no, this ain't no flapjack here. Oh, good boy! What's his name? His name's Charlie. My name's Brandy. Damn, that Brandy sure has a nice ass. Mm, mm, mm. And you're more interested in a dog. Whew. Okay, so now I'm back out on the road looking for my parents and stay the night at an abandoned house. Turned out not to be abandoned after all. I was totally bombing. After I recovered from the insecticide poisoning, I traveled to Indiana because this guy named Buffalo Bob, who may have a picture of my parents, puts the lotion on his skin. You have no idea what kind of hell I can bring you! Enough already, dang! I've been down here for two weeks. What do you want? It puts the lotion on its skin. Now! Well, say it! Don't spray it! Dang! I need a towel now! There! It's putting the lotion on its skin. It's rubbing it in. <laughs> hey, to tell you the truth, between me and you, that thing with the doll there, that's a little freaky. That's just me talking. Hey, I thought we had a deal. Where's my supplies, man? Come on. Oh, for Christ's sakes, here! Oh, oh I don't trade her. Oh, 87 Chevy Silverado. Got a hundred thousand miles, only one five thousand dollars that thing. Oh, I know. That's a deal if you ever see one right there. Oh. Uh -oh. After the cops saved me from Buffalo Bob, I went back to Silvertown to see Brandy. Well, 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 if it ain't dirty, Jerry, dirty. What's crapping, Robbie? Not much dirt bag. You've been here long enough. I'm here looking for, for Brandy. Brandy? My Brandy? You haven't heard? We're getting married. No, I don't believe that. Yeah, and besides, she don't want to see you anyways. No, I don't believe that. Well, it's true. She found your stupid parents in California, but she didn't want to tell you because she wanted you out looking for nothing. So she's sick of your crap, sick of helping you, sick. She's just plum sick of you. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe she'd do that. She left a note. Dear Robbie, if Jerry calls, don't tell him. I found his parents. I'll be back in a few days. Brandy, XOXO. Nobody wants you in this town. Nobody wants you, period. You crying, boy? You crying? Yeah, that Brandy's jive. I used to think of her as a good person, but as this story's gone on, she ain't a good person. Heck, I need closure. Wait, we all need some closure here. Freddie, let's get Brandy on line three. No, no, man, she's cool. Hello? Well, 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 the famous Brandy. Tokyo Rose of the Trailer Park. Hey Brandy, I'm sitting here 
with a friend of yours, a little white trash treasure that you might know by the name of Jerry Dirt. Ring a bell? Jerry? And I don't think he wants to talk to you. And you know why, Brandy? Because over the last few days, my listeners and I have heard an amazing story. Wow, how'd he find out? So the letter that Robbie showed Jerry is true? Yes, I wrote that letter. Because I, I wanted to tell Jerry in person. And months went by and Jerry didn't come home. Jerry, I did find your parents. Jerry, brace yourself for this. Your parents are dead. They died that day in the Grand Canyon. They was in a car wreck. I'm so sorry. It was a hit and run. Your search is over. Come home, Jerry, so I can take care of you. Let's go to break. Someone called into the radio station and told me that they found my parents. Mom, Dad, is that you? Our baby's home. Damn, we looked so hard to find him. I mean, we looked high and low. That's why we were so crazy when we lost him. I mean, he was there. Now he's here. And now he's gone. Oh, oh it's all right. Oh. oh. I knew you looked for me. I told everybody you did. And was there ever a time whenever y'all was looking at the moon and, and was thinking about me? Well, wouldn't you know that ever since you've been missing, I've been collecting these clown things. Can we get the photographers over here, please? Please? I've got all this, and every time I would get sad, I would just love on this, and it would make me just grin so big. Well, I don't, I don't mean to ruin your clown bit, but how exactly do you not go right back to where you last saw me? Hey, all right, all right. We didn't lose the guy. We left him. But look at the dude. He's doing just fine. Care about you being clown. I don't care about you looking. I hope I don't see you on y'all for another 25 damn years. You're grounded. We're here live with local celebrity Jerry Dirt. He's trying to commit suicide. Remember what you said on the show, Jerry Dirt? Life's a garden. You gotta dig it. Why? I'm nothing. I'm useless. Well, you can't come in here. It's me, Brandy. The Brandy? The Brandy. Okay, come on. Jerry! Brandy! You, why'd you lie to me? They're horrible people. They're evil. But I, I see, I heard what you said to Robbie. He told me not to tell you. He did? He did. I want you to come home so we can have Jerry Dirt babies. I love you. You really do? I I got him with the bungee cord. No! Oh! Ooh! Ooh. 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 What a dream. Whoa. Brandy? Am I home? Yes, you're home. While you were in surgery, I had them put on a something a little bit more contemporary. Dang. <laughs> oh. Ooh, cool. It's 